get to it. Let's get to it. Now, Ray was right. Like, listen, I am Haitian. I like being Haitian, but I don't love being Haitian. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not. Because, listen, like, Haitians, they ask for money all the time. They keep calling saying, send me money, send me money. And you know the hurricane just passed? My uncle just called me. He was like, nephew, the Hurricane Irma took my house. Hurricane Irma took my house. I'm like, uncle, you live in Brooklyn. Shut the fuck up, please. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't understand. And why do y'all think that all Haitians do voodoo? Why? I hate it. When people come up to me and ask me a stupid question, I give them a stupid response. I'm like, yeah, I do do voodoo. <laughs> and you just pissed me off. <laughs> That's when I grab a piece of their hair and put it in my pocket and shit. You see, the black women really love that joke because they know they safe. Somebody's gonna die. <laughs> I just don't know who it is. <laughs> Ladies, don't beat me up. I'm only 5'4, please. This is just jokes. This is just jokes. It's funny, man. Like, listen, life is real, though. Because life is real. Like, listen, I'm 27 years old and I'm a parent. And um, it is so hard being a parent while still living with your parents. Um, <laughs> like now, now, now I think my daughter's growing up with authority issues and shit. Like it's so hard for me to tell her to go to her room. At the same time, my dad is telling me to go to my room. But what's crazy is that our house is really not that big. So we share the same damn room. Now we both gotta look at each other and how we both fucked up. Like, it's some bullshit right here. I don't even understand. Like, honestly, the only reason that she knows I'm her father is because I sleep on the top bunk. Don't judge me, people with family. <laughs> but this is why I need your support in this comedy game. I need your support. Because what happens when she turns 16 and I'm still doing the same shit? She start bringing niggas to our room and shit. Like, what the hell? And this nigga bigger than me, there's some bullshit right here. I don't know what's going on. You know a kid is bigger than you when you start calling him sir. Like, sir, can I please get my remote back, please? Mom, this grown man don't want to give me back my remote. What is going on? Nah, I'm not going to lie. This comedy game been good to me. You know, this is like my second time I've been like on national TV. Y'all all looking at me like, I never seen you before, nigga. Stop it. Like, but, but nah, listen. But now, all my friends back home, they keep coming up to me like, yo, Fen, 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 fake Kevin Hart. Um, are you ready to be rich and famous? And honestly, I got small dreams. I got really small dreams. Honestly, I just want to be rich enough where I don't have to ride public transportation no more. Because I don't know about you guys, but y'all all look like y'all average height. Y'all get to your destination in peace. This is me, the whole train ride, just a bunch of dicks in my face, like, stop it, sir, stop. <laughs> sir, stop. And what gets me mad is because the sign says, if you see something, say something. Y'all all see this man's dick in my face, and y'all not saying, y'all not saying shit. I'm like, sir, you can have the goddamn seat. 38 stops, I gotta stand. Forehead smelling like dick. This is some bullshit. And listen, listen, if you're a big girl, listen, if you're a big girl and you ride public transportation, just take the two goddamn seats. <laughs> Don't tell me to sit in this little piece of a seat. Now I got one ass cheek on the seat. Her ass is numb. She has the nerve to say, are you doing okay? Hell no, I'm not doing okay. I got one, my ass is numb, my leg is falling asleep, I got dicks in my face, what the hell is going on right now? I hate it over here. This is my life, man. That's why, yo, this is my life, and it's crazy because I cut all my friends off the other day because I just hate my friends. Y'all probably got good friends, my friends are all messed up. The other day they say, Fan, you want to go out to this club? 
I was like, no, I'm trying to save money. I don't really want to go to the club. They said, Fan, this club has a mechanical bull. Fellas, have you ever seen females on a mechanical bull? That shit is beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, I came through. But we get there. There was some pretty for girls. But we get there. My friends are so dumb, they forgot to read the flyer. We get there, and it's gay night. <laughs> now, the only thing worse than not seeing girls on a mechanical bull is seeing gay guys on a mechanical bull. <gasps> Talking about, go faster, go faster. I think one dude had a lollipop. What the hell is going on? Some grown ass man said we. No grown man would say we. And why am I still watching this right now? I don't understand. <laughs> oh man, relationships is tough too. Y'all seen Kevin Hart? That cheating game, crazy. It's crazy. Fellas, do me a favor. Clap your hands if you ever been cheated on. <laughs> Oh, oh, so the ones that are not clapping, y'all just don't know. Is that what's going on? You're just... You know what's crazy? Us fellas, we cheat. We cheat. We do our dirt. He's looking at me like, no, you cheat, young man. Leave me out of this. I'm in my day. <laughs> no, it's crazy because we cheat. We do our dirt. But when we get cheated on, we get tight. We get motherfucking tight. But the thing is, we want to know the details. But the thing is, we can't handle the details. I'll be like, so I'm okay, all right, all right, okay. Is he taller than me, bitch? Is he taller than me? I knew you was tired of going on rides all by yourself. Is he taller than me? Okay, just one more question. I just got one more question. Is this, um, is this, um, is this is this dick bigger than mine? This is where y'all girls are assholes. Y'all be like, honestly, size doesn't matter. I'll be like, oh Lord. This nigga's dick is bigger than mine. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm petty. I'm petty. I'll be like, well, I hope that you got Netflix, because you're not using my password no more. That's a fact. Fact. And it's crazy, man. People think I'm bougie because I don't go to Dunkin' Donuts anymore. I just don't. Yeah, I was on TV, but it's not that, that's not the reason. I hate going to Dunkin' Donuts, and I'm never going there again. I'm never going there again. The other day I went to the drive-thru. You know, I asked for two glazed donuts. <laughs> I asked for two glazed donuts. This man gives me a Boston cream. Now, I never had a Boston cream before. <laughs> but you know when you're driving, <laughs> you're really not paying attention. <laughs> so I reached in the bag, and, um, and, um, ladies, I know why you don't like sucking dick. <laughs> There's no warning sign. This donut just came in my mouth. I was like, tell me. This donut just come in my mouth. What's crazy is that I kept eating it. Does that make me? No, don't no, no, trust me. This is good. You gotta get your money's worth. Oh, man, we're running out of time, man. But we got to stop that racism shit, man. We do, man. Because honestly, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I actually like white people. I really do. But I be mad at them at the same time. Like, I'm mad that white people are never intimidated by me. <laughs> like, there's no reason that I should be walking late at night in Brooklyn, Flatbush, and they just hand me their purse and their phone and tell me to take a picture of them and shit. They don't do that to nobody else. Why me? So now I got all these phones in my house and I really don't know what to do with it and shit. <laughs> hey, everybody, that's my time. My name is Fan. You guys have been awesome.